today is the day. I'm going to be filming my Brockhampton Get Ready With Me and I'm so excited for this concert. You just don't know. We're gonna do a blue look and this is just gonna be kind of like a tutorial, kind of like a Get Ready With Me. I don't know yet, but let's get started. Okay, so first, as always, I'm gonna start off by putting my Vaseline on my lips because I don't want to be a chapped queen. That's not cute. Okay, so now I'm gonna use my Mario Badesco skincare, you know. You know how this goes. Hopefully this time it'll actually spray the first time. But I'm just gonna do it to prep my face. I literally just had a whole like spaz. <laughs> Shave it. I'm struggling. The face is prepped with that spray. And I look oily. Just kidding, glowy. <laughs> Glowy Queen. We're gonna use this NYX Studio Perfect Photo Loving Primer. Basically, <laughs> beauty girl. <laughs> basically, this is just like the knockoff of the Smashbox. This is basically just a knockoff of the Smashbox primer, but it's whatever. It's cool. So let me slap my ass and then put it all over our face. Because this is going to be on for a while and I'm going to be sweating and crying because, you know, Brockhampton, my kings, like, what? I'm going to be putting the Maybelline Dream Fresh BB Cream. Could you not be washed out, bitch? Um, there you go. I'm just going to put that all over my face. Okay, now that that's damp, we're just going to take it, put it. Oh, shit, it fell. What the fuck was that? This is way too dark for my skin. <laughs> this shade is literally for like Hispanic queens. Um, it's too dark for my white ass, but it's fine. Why do beauty gurus dampen their beauty blender? Because honestly, right now, I don't really feel or see a difference, but I'm still trying to be like all these beauty gurus, you know? I clearly just know what I'm doing, so. Just follow every move I make. Yeah. Now I'm gonna do my brows off camera because honestly that's just too much footage. And if you want a separate video on a brow tutorial on how I do my brows, then I can do that. Just leave a comment. You know how it goes. I did want to mention that I am gonna use the Anastasia Dip Brow today because I'm going to this concert. It's kind of a special occasion, you know. And it's the color soft brown, by the way. And I'm just gonna use like an elf angled brush, so... What the fuck? I mean, let me just blend out. But like, what? Like... Um... So... My brows, um... Wow. Honestly, proud of shit, but... That's another story, I'm no storyteller. I piss greatness like gold is yellow. Okay, so now we're gonna do concealer. Or should we do eyeshadow first? Yeah, we do an eyeshadow first. Okay, my inner highlight is my inner corner highlight is going to be the color mm -hmm. Zero Clue from this palette, which is that little sparkly blue color. And I don't quite know what I want my main course to be yet. And I just realized I forgot to gel my brows. We have these like dark blue colors and something just fell out. But I don't know which one I want to do. L'Oreal palette from the drugstore. And I got it from my mom because I literally had no blue eyeshadows. I also want to use the primer potion by Urban Decay to just prime my lids and make sure that they are ready for business. We're going to go into this L'Oreal palette and we're going to use that light one in our crease, or no, nah, our eyelid. And we're just going to use this regular elf brush. Okay, so this is like the third time I've had to film this because this eyeshadow is actually really bad. And it's not turning out the way I want it to at all. And it's honestly frustrating me, but life isn't perfect, so it's fine. So I'm just honestly going to go in <laughs> with that main like blue color right here. And that's just going to be the full lid because I tried to put that darker color on. And first of all, it was so streaky. It dead ass just did not like transfer well at all. And it was literally like taking off my other layer of eyeshadow. 
And so here we are, third time's a charm, and we're just gonna do that one color because honestly it's cute, and we're just gonna do some extra stuff to make it look better, but we're gonna do it on the other side too. So I'm a bit frustrated to say the least, but it's okay because light goes on and it's gonna be okay. And this color's pretty, so it's fine. A little bit of that like darker color is kind of in the corner right now. And I think I'm honestly just gonna take this brush and try to dab it in there and like blend the colors so that it looks a little bit more defined and not just one boring blob of color. For now, this is what we have and then we're gonna like just take a little of that darker color. Kind of blend it in there. Yeah. Just like that. So that, like, there's more depth and dimension to our eyes. Because, you know, we don't want to be basic. We have to be extra. So, yeah, this is just a very powdery blue look. And I don't recommend this palette. So, yeah. <laughs> Um, I don't know if I want to go in with another layer of that blue color. Honestly, though, I don't hate, like, the color, though. Like, I mess with the color pretty heavily. This is why you do concealer after your foundation. I mean, <laughs> concealer after your eyeshadow. Or else this mess will happen. But honestly, it's not that bad. So we're gonna do our under eye. And I think for under eye, I'm gonna do like a really like nice pop blue color. That's more electric blue from this Beach Bums Claire's palette that I gave to my mom and she gave back to me for this video. <laughs> so I think I'm just gonna take that really dark color and take like a really small brush and just try to do my under eye with it and see what happens. And if it looks like shit, I'm just gonna cry and that'll be it. <laughs> Honestly, though, like, this is a bright-ass color. Bro, I got it in my eye. Fuck. Uh. It doesn't help that I have really long fingernails right now, so. It's probably the main problem, but whoa, bitch, that did something. Blend all together with this brush. Honestly, like, that looks way better blended out, though. <laughs> Thank God that's over. I'm done with eyeshadow. I don't hate it, but honestly, it doesn't even really look blue on the top. It looks more purple, but... I don't care. I don't care anymore. <laughs> don't care anymore. I'm so frustrated. Okay, so I'm going to take that ColourPop color that I was talking about at the beginning. And I'm just going to put it in my inner corner. I hate makeup. No, I don't. I love makeup. I just hate makeup. It doesn't work with me. You know, like, I love makeup, but like... Why does it like hate me sometimes? Like I'm just, I'm just trying to love you, you know. Like why you gotta do me so dirty like that? Like why you gotta make it so difficult for me? And then the final fucking yes, bitch. I'm gonna take that lighter blue right here and kind of put it on my eyelids, like make something happen because I low-key don't like how this looks. Okay, while I let my camera charge, I just did my concealer, like that's all you missed. But I'm just gonna contour with Wet n Wild Makeup Stick in the color Oaks On You. And I just used the same concealer brand. So I'm just gonna go ahead and draw the lines. That turned out so bad. And honestly, I probably am putting Way too much, but it's cool though. Queen, queen. God, this is so. I put way too much. I put way too much bronzer. Nothing's perfect ever, but like, come on now. Like, I'm just trying to look chiseled. Like, I'm just trying to look good. Can't even do that. <laughs> <laughs> oh 
Okay, I had to charge again, but basically all I did was use this Milani Prep Set and Go powder to set the foundation and contour that I just did. And now I'm going to be doing my mascara. I'm just going to use Better Than Sex, and I will do my eyeliner as well, and I'll show you how I do that. But right now I'm going to charge my camera while I do my mascara. <laughs> so I lied. I'm actually going to do my eyeliner first because... That's what you usually do, and this is probably going to fuck up this entire eye look, and I can't wait, so we'll see. Okay, so as you can see, I've done my eyeliner, and basically I just used the Maybelline eyeliner that I always use, and I also use my two NYX glitter liners in white and gray. I use gray on top and white on bottom. I used the Better Than Sex Mascara, as I said, and I just did my liner and my mascara. Now, all we have to do is lips, and I cannot tell you how frustrated I am with this video right now, just because of all the shit that's happened. We have to do highlighter first, so I'm going to use this white NYX one, and pray to God my camera does not die before I'm finished, because I'm so close. I'm just going to put that on. This is very holographic and pretty, so I'm excited. Ooh, girl, I know y'all see that. That is so pretty. <laughs> Jeez. It's weird because like you can't even tell like that the brush is really picking it up, but when you put it on, it's like different one. I'm just gonna put it on my nose. And the second highlighter I'm going to use is going to be my Urban Decay highlighter. And it's just in the big box. It's the illuminated thing. So, yeah, that's the one I'm going to compare this one with. Bitches, we are finally done. And I can't tell you, like, how happy I am that this fucking video is over. <laughs> Girl, like, this was the most stressful thing to film in my entire life, but... <laughs> So I really hope you guys enjoyed it because if you didn't I did all that work for nothing and spent all that time For nothing look at my hair. It's grown so much, but Thank you guys so much for watching if you enjoyed it Subscribe or whatever like it's cool. Look at my highlight Jesus. Okay, bitch um, I'm obviously gonna put my glasses on that's why I did a really dramatic look so that everyone could see it through my glasses <laughs> I hope you guys enjoyed but see you next time.